Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about pitch on each of our four clefs. Uh, so as you can see we're going to start with the treble clef and I've written the names of the, the note names of the lines on the left side and the names of the spaces on the right. So the names of the lines E, G, B, D, F. When I was young I learned that as every good boy deserves football, but you can come up with whatever you like. Uh, and F, A, C, E it just spells face, so that's really easy. Uh, so I always like to use middle C as a reference point, so you can see that note here. Uh, middle C rests on a ledger line below the staff, that's that line going through the note head. Ledger lines basically just uh, extend the staff down or up, and we'll see more ledger lines over here with that high note. So we have our middle C here. Uh, and then this next one, we can say, all right, well, we know that the second line is G, so that's what that pitch must be. Or we can think, okay, well, we know this is treble clef. We know that the, the swirly thing is going around the G line uh, and use that to figure out that that's G as well. This one, well, we have to start counting above the staff until you, you start recognizing these notes with lots of ledger lines. So we know the highest line is F. So we count up from F, we have F, G, A, B, C, D, E. So counting up, that's an E. As you can see, it will be a lot quicker just to, to learn it and have it uh, come quickly. And this last one, I'll give you a second to shout it out at the computer. Okay, this last one is D. Uh, we just, again, we can look at every good boy deserves. There's our D. Uh, and hopefully it just becomes second nature at some point. Okay, so with the bass clef, we have a different uh, set of letters. So you remember that the dots go around the F line, uh, and the lines read G, B, D, F, A. So again, playing on the football theme, I learned good boys deserve football always, but again, come up with whatever you like. Uh, and on the uh, spaces side, I had all cows eat grass. So both of those, again, fairly easy to remember. We've started off with middle C. You see in this uh, case, it's actually above the staff. Uh, the second one, we know it's G, B, D, and that's an F. Uh, this one, we count all cows eat grass. This is the A on all. And then this one below the staff, again, until we, we sort of recognize it at sight, we're going to have to count down. So we know that the bottom line is G. I'm going to count down from there. G, F, E, D, C, and finally B. So this is a B below the staff. Okay. Everybody's favorite clefs, the alto and tenor clef. So if you remember the alto clef, the twirly bits show us where the... Uh, C line is so it's actually showing us middle C specifically so this is middle C again um, I don't have a good mnemonic device for F A C E G fall arts center excites geriatrics see you can come up with something better than that um, so for this note we could uh, use the space of G B D F so G B D F uh, something that you can do with the alto and tenor clef, since we'll see them less often, and it's sort of a crutch, but it can help you get familiar with them, is pretend that it's in treble clef, and then read it a note up. So this one, we see if it was in treble clef, it would be a B, uh, so we read it one note up, and that's a C. This one, if it's in treble clef, it's an E, one note up, it's an F. I'll give you a couple of seconds to figure out these other two. You can pause the video if need be looks like an F, so we read it one note up, it's a G. And this one looks like a C, so we read it one note up, it's a D. You can do a similar thing with the tenor clef, except it's one note down from the treble clef. So this one, middle C again, uh, looks like a D, read it one note down, it's a C. So take a couple of seconds and figure out these last three notes. Okay, so... Uh, this one looks like an F. We read it one step down. It's an E. This one looks like an E. It's down a step. It's a D. This one looks like 
a b down a step it's an a so now we're going to talk about how these pitches are altered we'll go back to our good old familiar treble clef so we can have uh, sharps we can have flats and that's going to uh, alter the pitch so if we wanted this to be raised one half step uh, we just add a sharp to it so that makes that c sharp if we wanted to lower it one half step we would add a flat to it so that sort of b looking thing by the c now makes it a half step lower so that is going to be uh, c flat now there are two other ones that you see probably a little bit less often uh, one of them is this x looking thing the x shows us that it's a double sharp and has been raised two half steps and the other one a double flat so the double flat takes us down two half steps so the final thing we have to learn here is take that back to where it should be uh, is pitch level so it's um, it's okay to just say C G E and D uh, but sometimes it's really helpful to be able to specify where on the piano keyboard we would find that or where we would hear it so middle C is always C4 and anything between that C and the C above it uh, is also 4 so D4, E4, F4, G, A, B and then where it's C5 so basically this whole system of numbering things is based off the C's if we go one C higher that would be C6 and anything from that C to the next C would also be 6 so C6, D6, E6 uh, same thing in the bass clef middle C is C4 it's always a great place to start so anything above that is gonna be in the 4 so C4, D4 anything below that is gonna fall with C3 so this note is C3 uh, and then all the notes between that and middle C also have 3 after them so C3, D3, E, F, G, all like that. So uh, just take a second to think about what this low B would be. Okay, so we know that this is C4. We know that that is C3. We know that that's C2. So the B below that has to be B1. Okay. So that's all there is for pitch.